remember calling my son's name, and that's all I remember. When I woke up, I was strapped down to the hospital bed, didn't even know what was going on. Um, mm. Eventually, long story short with that, I had a ventilator in my mouth. They said I had kept snatching it out. When I came through, there was a nurse up in my room. He said, girl, you lucky to be alive. I couldn't talk because I had the ventilator in my mouth. Didn't know what I had went through, but in my head, I said, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. So once I individually got the ventilator took out my mouth, I called it three times while I was in the ER. They told my family I wasn't going to make it. They had told my family to call everybody down and everything. I was on the ventilator for seven and a half days. On that, In the middle of that last day, the doctor, the nurse came in there. He said, um, told my sister and them, they were standing there. He said, we're going to take her off the ventilator today. And if she don't breathe on her own, then we're not going to cut it back on. I said, oh, Lord, they finna kill me. Because I was alert. I could hear and everything, but I just couldn't talk. I said, oh, Lord, they finna kill me. I started praying. I started crying. I was sitting up just crying, just praying. I said, Lord, because I got a 16-year-old son, and my daughter was 12. So um, I just started praying, talking to God and everything. I did not even know that the nurse had already cut the ventilator off. I was just sitting up just waiting. This word when the doctor came in, I thought I was gonna die. The doctor said, Miss White, you've been breathing on your own for four hours now. You want this ventilator out your mouth? Jeez. I just must start crying and just thanking God Jeez. because had it not been for my son Jeez. being at home that day, I wouldn't even be able to sit here and give God praise Jeez. for him to Jeez. allow me just to be here. My God. While I was in the hospital, I stayed in the hospital a month and a half. I was in the hospital almost two months. I was in ICU because my blood pressure was 230-something, over 100-something. They never could get it down. So I was getting blood pressure medicine through my IV. My kidneys started to shut down while I was in the hospital because they was giving me Lasix because I was laying up in the bed and I was just retaining fluid so my kidneys started to shut down. They went through my heart went on with me. So they went up through my heart. To this day, I don't take nothing now but high blood pressure medicine. What the devil thought he was coming to destroy for me, God, from something better. I have no heart issues. My kids is now are functioning on their own. I'm not on no kind of medications, nothing but high blood pressure. I left out the hospital on oxygen. And I have an oxygen tank right here in my house right now because I'm supposed to be using oxygen. Yesterday was my first day using my oxygen machine in seven months. And that was because my my asthma started acting up. And I just found out I got asthma. And I, they said that I only got asthma because my lungs were weak. Um, I ended up with pneumonia in both of my lungs. That's what they say ended up taking me down. Because um, I had pneumonia in both of my lungs. So technically, to this day, I would not be sitting here if my son had went to school for one. But if God didn't just see fit just to give me another chance. So I always know, I'm like, it's something that he saw in me to give me another chance to get it right. Because had God pulled me in that moment when he pulled me, I would have went to hell. And I know now he gave me a chance to get myself right and to get myself together. Because at that moment in my life, I loved the Lord, but I did not give him the honor and glory. And I did not give him the desires that I give him now, and I didn't let him know that I love him like I know I do, you know, so I just thank him for everything that he does for me now, because what he did for me, I didn't deserve what he did for me, because I wasn't worthy, I didn't show him the appreciation that he deserved, but now I do know that there's a God, I used to have my doubts, but I always believed because I was brought up in the church. 
but hearing that I coded three times in the hospital and they brought me back to life and then knowing that they were fixing to kill me and God said, no, now my child, then it's nothing that nobody can tell me about a God, you know, because I've experienced it for myself. So you can't tell me that there's not a God. You can't tell me that there wasn't nobody that saved my life that day, you know, so I sit back and I just know for a fact he got something in store for me, something better than what he's already done, and I'm here to tell people about it because I know for a fact there's a God. Now, all my doubts that I did have and all my questions and all of those things like that, it's, it's already been answered. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Could, yes. could, could, could I use just could I can I use your testimony? Could I can I can I use your testimony? Sh- share it. Or you something? can use it. You sure can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, man. Yeah. If my phone was worth getting, was worth messing up to hear this, the bless people, it, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. It's mm-hmm. all worth it. Now, right. yeah, we, we, hey, we'll stay, yeah, we'll stay in contact with you. Um, we'll stay in contact. Yeah, my my mother, she's here too, listening. Um. Praise the Lord. Yeah, my mother hit with, yeah, just mm. listen as well. Amen. Oh, you're such a blessing. You're a blessing. Oh, my goodness. My God, you're a blessing. Oh, my yes, ma'am. Mm. Jesus. Oh, you're special. Jesus. You're special. This is now understand Yes, why. ma'am. I feel it. I feel I'm like very special. I do. I was like, I didn't feel this grateful of the blessing that he done for me. And I used to always sit back and I was like, God, oh, why did you save me? And I know now it's because of this. I bless other people when I don't even have it to bless. I work here. And I pay two rents. I pay my rent and my brother rent. But God has not taken nothing out of me and my kids' life. We have food. I'm able to buy and maintain and take care of us. So I know he put me here to bless other people. But he also put me here to be a witness. Yes, ma'am. So... See that? Yeah, we can see. I, I just know. I know for a fact. I come from a praying family, but my mom used to always tell me, I can't save you. You got to save hey, yourself. Yo, 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 and if she yo, was here today, I would let her know, Mama, I saved myself. <laughs> because yeah. hey, hallelujah. Yes, and yes, just yes, being God. here, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank and you, just man. knowing what God has done for me. Yes, I'm yes, not supposed to be here today. I'm not. And I just know God to spare my life, and I give him the honor and glory, God, because without him, my kids wouldn't have a mother right now today. And I just say thank you, Lord. Thank you for it all, because I know. Hallelujah. I know for a fact, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Give him the praise that he deserves. Thank you, God. Yes, amen. 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 No wonder he dropped that thing in my spirit earlier today. Ooh, Jesus. You know, yeah, th- think back. Think back of what all he's done. He, 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 boy, I tell you, you Ooh. can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. Uh-uh, it's real. Gee, it, it is. is. Meditate on, yeah, on what, I, what I've done right. for you, what I brought you through. And I, I didn't even know your situation. So that word was for you. That was for... That way right. It was for... It, this this was all supposed to happen. It was all supposed oh, to happen. Time. Yes, it, it, it was. Yes, it Lord. was. So um, but it, it was. was can we what the, what does, you, mm-hmm. does your mom have a cell phone number? When I go on break in about thirty minutes, I'm gonna send her a picture of me when I was in my hospital bed, so y'all can see how I look. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And where my, he brought me from. All right. I'm sure this number is right. What's her number? 